up to this point, things have gone almost well. We have positively reinforced our team, and even in cases where we, we uh, had, where was an improvement area, we have given constructive feedback on behaviors to change them in the future. Our work as a leader could not, be, could not go better, right? But the reality is that the things are not always in this way. Many times, the feedback uh, or a simple conversation can become more complicated. For that, in this section of difficult conversations, we will see how to act uh, if this happens, because uh, what is not an option is to avoid them, and even less in this uh, high-risk industry. Sometimes, we get in a, into a complicated conversation and we don't realize it. Once we are inside, or better, before it gets complicated, we must apply a couple of basic rules to return to a safe conversation. First of all, we have to be attentive to basic signals that will tell us uh, such a conversation is approaching. There are three alarms. First one is opposing, opi opposing opinions. Second one, strong emotion, and also the important issues. The first, almost for sure, but normally all the three must occur, although it would not be the first unimportant discuss, uh, very important discussion about football that uh, ends badly. If we have to keep, uh, and I really like the message from this part, it will be always back, uh, think about the reason to have this conversation. Go back to the objective. What do you want to achieve? If you want to, if the, what you want to achieve is to win the conversation, maybe you should rethink about to having it. You will be in a debate, first of all, and that is not a dialogue, as you already know. If you want to get something, uh, and for that you need the other person, then you can uh, do the following things. Yeah, let's see. As we said, it's very important to be clear about the purpose of the conversation. Back to the objective again. First, we will see how uh, toward, it, toward it. The goal should be ideally uh, smart. I'm sure you know uh, the acronym to get, uh, to get good goals, but SMART is specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-related, so we need to, to know when to, to get it. But in our case, for this conversation to come to a deal, we must also to make sure that the, the goal is shared by the interlocutors or is a common goal. There is a curious story from Patterson Books and his colleagues, Crucial Conversation, they present the story about uh, a family, a uh, father, and two daughters. They came from the zoo, eager to go to the bathroom. Mary said she should be uh, the first one because uh, she was the younger, I think, and Lucy argued that she wants to do the same thing. When they entered through the door of the house, both of them went like a uh, lightning bolt into the bathroom, and then the discussion went inside, rising in tone as their father listened from the outside. At the end, one of the daughters left, and a few moments after, the other. They had to spend 15 minutes of tension to go to the bathroom, trying to be the first to pass, and did not let them the, see the common goal, that was to go to the bathroom as soon as possible. The father, who was an expert in difficult conversation, remarked the importance of establishing this common goal to reach the best solution and not to win the conversation. Because in that, in that case, the solution would surely be more unsatisfactorily. So if you are in this, in this situation, think about these uh, preventive questions and uh, try to answer by yourself. What do I really want for myself? Second one, what do I really want for others, for my, uh, my family? Or Actually, what do I really want for this project, for this situation, for this relationship? If you are able to answer uh, this question, first of all, you will have calm your emotional brain using the neocortex, the most human brain, to answer them. And second, you will have de defined a better objective, objective. Then, as I told you, Yes, as the, it was very important to be clear about the, your objective and share it, it's also important that the interlocutor is aware of it and the gap to be safe into the conversation. For that reason, the most powerful tool we have in the industry that is very, 
uh, common in the nuclear industry is the coaching. We will see four very simple steps, but at the same time you will have to practice many, many times to be successful with them. We will exp explain the GROW model or the GROW method in a very understandable way. The G, is, for, uh, as I told you, is from goal. We will ask the questions to clarify the objective. For example, what are the objectives we have set for this project? That could be good, a good one. The R is from reality, so our question will be oriented to understand and to highlight the current situation, what is happening now. Third, the O is from option, exploring different solutions. And to finally, we will close with the W or will or way forward to will guide the conversation through the future. Be aware we are always using open questions. We don't like closed questions. Yes or not are not good, an good answers. Okay, as I told you, as I said at the beginning, the goal is the most important issue for us and for our interlocutor. But once defined, we will move through it and always oriented to the future to save the gap Without gap, there is no coaching in performance results, behaviors, or in any field. And if we have said that we must go to the future, it's vitally important to close this conversation because after walking this uh, complicated path we have to uh, walk, they could return back uh, if they were not finalized correctly. Making decisions agreed either by consensus, consultation, or even by voting, and defining an assigned task would be the perfect closure for this type of communication. 